what's up guys, I Alan Drew here and today I have an unboxing for you guys on the Microsoft Touch Mouse. Um, which was released a while ago but um, with the release of Windows 8 it has some new functionality um, and it's pretty similar to the Magic Mouse um, in that the surface is a touch surface as you can see there are different gestures you can use here. Um, yeah, you can see right here um, one finger is to scroll, so you can uh, scroll by uh, moving or sliding your finger down on the mouse. Two fingers is snap or maximize or minimize. And three fingers is show windows or reveal desktop. So it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, you can see it looks pretty nice here. Let's go down and look at the box. Um, just this touch mouse here. Blue track technology, which means it tracks on most surfaces and natural multi-touch experience and a whole bunch of different languages and also three-year limited hardware warranty which is pretty interesting exclusively for Windows 7 but if you get um, one with a newer box it will say stuff about Windows 8 and how it works with the Metro UI so let's go ahead and open it up um, there is a seal right here. Alright, so one side is enough to get that off. And let's take it off. The mouse sits here on a white surface, which you can take out by uh, seems like sliding this down. Yeah, so it just comes off like so. Okay, good. So that is supposed to happen. I thought I, I broke something, but I didn't. And here's the mouse. You can see, um, actually it looks pretty nice, very simple looking. Ooh, no clicks. Oh, that's actually just like the Magic Mouse, or not the ma Magic Mouse, the older Apple Mouse. What was it called? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below, but it has the clicks on the bottom here, um, which I personally actually don't like that much, but this isn't for like everyday gaming or anything, and it's still a really nice mouse. Alright, so here's the Nano Receiver. Really? Nano, and it says Microsoft on it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. And it's pretty much just a cover for your USB port. That's really all it is. And uh, what else is in here? It's, oh, it's actually the cover for the bottom. Once you put the batteries in. You just slide this on and power it on. Something we'll do in a little bit here. The extension cable, so you can plug the nano receiver to this. If you have a desktop and the nano receiver is going pretty far, you can have it sit closer. Really nice of Microsoft to include this actually. Don't usually see it with mice. Um, And here's the package. I mean, sorry. Here's the little packaging after the manuals. Configure or setup. Um, yeah, you can put that back, and I'll just quickly slide the batteries in and show you guys how it works. Okay, so one interesting thing that I noticed is that as soon as you slide one battery in, it starts working. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to fully function with one battery, but it probably will if the light is turned on. And here are both batteries in. Let's put let's put this on. And here it is. Um, I'm gonna say it's it feels pretty heavy. Um, not definitely not the lightest mouse. Um, it's probably because of the two batteries, a little bit excessive. 
in my opinion. I'd much rather have one battery for a lighter mouse. But then again, if it actually works with one battery, yeah, with one battery, it's a much nicer weight. Actually, a pretty big difference, considering it's a AA battery. So I'm gonna plug it in and see how it works. All right, so I have the nano receiver plugged in here to my keyboard. Uh, and um, let's see how it works. All right, so I plugged into the nano receiver and uh, quickly installed the nano receiver um, driver. Um, Windows did that. And now I can actually scroll with the middle piece here, which is pretty cool, actually. It's working pretty well. Um, but since I don't have uh, the driver for the actual mouse installed, uh, none of the multi-touch stuff works, so I can't tell you guys how those work. But so far, it definitely feels really nice, and hey, it's working with one battery. So I guess you can use the batteries also to adjust the weight, uh, whether you like a lighter or a heavier mouse, which is actually really cool. Like, um, some mice have you add or remove extra weight to it to change the weight, but this one, you just add another battery and extend your battery life too, which is pretty cool. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, the smile, I've got to say, it looks really nice. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe, and thumbs up. Bye-bye.